Hello, and welcome back to Energy Scout News and Information. I'm your host, Red Byers. Today's segment will focus on production within the energy industry. And breaking news, a Tennessee well blew out and then erupted into flames after a nearby truck sparked leaking gas. Walden Resources drilled the well and hit natural gas on Tuesday, but then things turned out for the worst when a blowout prevention device failed. Houston-based Wild Well Control was dispatched to the scene to help get the flames under control. In other news, Canadian Oil Sands Trust has reported that its recoverable resources are up. The Sin Crude Oil Sands project now tops 12.7 billion barrels, an increase from the previous estimate of 9 billion. The change is credited to the reporting of a new category known as prospective resources. The company's production output stands at 350,000 barrels per day, but plans are already in motion to increase capacity to 500,000 barrels per day. Now let's take a further look at other news in the energy industry. Gallon Petroleum has just released its estimated net proved reserves for 2007. The company estimates it holds 263.6 billion cubic feet equivalent. The company pulled off a substantial increase of 81% from 2006, where they were just at 145 billion cubic feet equivalent. Callan attributes a successful year to their current acquisition of BP Exploration and Production Company's working interest within the Entrada field. Fox Petroleum and their other partners are enlisting Halliburton to stimulate their Pecos County site in Texas. Halliburton does plan to use acid fracturing methods this week to clean the well bore and enhance the site's production. The well currently produces 2.5 million cubic feet of gas per day. It's time once again for our market numbers, but first let's take a look at our leaders and laggards. In oil and gas, prices are down across the board. Crude oil has dropped $4.94 to $104.46. Natural gas has also fallen down $0.39 to $9.02. And now, let's take a quick look at our people on the move. In strange news today, a plane was hijacked the other day, but it's not what you think. Take a look. I've never, ever heard of anything like this. The Johnston travel agent booked three passengers on the flight bound for Atlanta and then spring break. But when the flight attendant boarded the jet before sunrise, she spotted a fuzzy, four-legged stowaway. The flight was supposed to leave at 5.50. They couldn't take off because of a mouse on the plane. Not an animated mouse on a plane. A real live mouse on a real plane. So the passengers waited to board, watching workers set traps up and down the aisle. Mice can chew through, like, cords or different things, but then they did come out and announce that it was because of a flight attendant being scared. 6 a.m. became 7, then 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock. There's not much to really do at the Des Moines airport. Oh, I thought snakes on a plane was bad. And that's it for today's energy headlines. Be sure to check out our website daily at energyscout.com for up-to-date rig counts and company information. And be sure to stay tuned with us tomorrow. We will take a look at drilling within the energy industry. For Energy Scout news and information, I'm your host, Red Byers.